Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <sighs> oh, hi, everyone. I'm Justin the Mailman. Wow, what a beautiful day. I woke up this morning and did a big stretch. And I said, hello, day. Can you do a big good morning stretch and say that with me? Ah, hello, day. Great job. That reminds me of a true story from the Bible about when God made everything in the whole world. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. In the very, very beginning, there was nothing. No people, no animals, no land, no ocean, no sun, no earth. Just nothing. But there was God. And God was about to do something amazing. Are you ready for this? On the first day, God said, let there be light. And there was light. Amazing, bright, shining light. And God said, that's good. Everyone say, that's good with me. That's good. And it was. Then God decided to separate the light from the darkness. He called the light day. And what do you think he called the dark? Night, that's right. And because on day one, God made the light and the dark, we now get to wake up every morning and see the light. And every night we get to go to sleep in the dark. That was day one of God making the world. Now, what comes after one? Two, that's right. On day two, God made water and put some way down low and put the sky way up high. Then God saw what he had made and God said, that's good. Everyone say that's good with me. That's good. Okay, so on day one, God made light and dark. And on day two, God made the sky above the water. Day one, light and dark. Day two, sky over water. And this was just the beginning. God making the light, the dark, the sky, the water. He had so many more plans of what to make next because God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. <laughs>